Uh, hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're doing something a little bit different. Is that a little bit much going on behind me there? Maybe. <laughs> is this a little bit much? De definitely. Yeah, I, I definitely need a haircut. Or maybe even multiple hairs cut. <laughs> I'm a comedian. <laughs> anyway, how is it going? Today we're doing something a little bit different. I wanted to do a little bit of a catch-up because it's been a while. I think it was the, the start of 2020 that uh, I made the, um, the last update video. And well, it was a very different world back then. We spoke a bit about conventions earlier as well, and I'd like to do some more. I'll be going to at least one in the UK. Oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> So naive! But yeah, I wanted to sit down and have a little conversation and tell you a little bit about what's going on with me and how, how, how I'm feeling. You're gonna be my therapist for the next hour. It's long overdue that I talk to someone. <laughs> I mean, needless to say, 2020 has been a bit of a feckin' disaster, but uh, I, I have definitely got some positives out of it and that's, that's kind of what I try and do with my mentality. I try and get positives out of negatives. I mean... I'm delighted I got hit by a car, for example, because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> I make it sound like the car hit me and pushed me out of the way of a bullet or something, but no, I mean, I wouldn't be on YouTube because the reason I got into YouTube was because of that car accident. I know one of the main positives I've gotten out of this whole thing is I feel a lot healthier. I've, I've gained so much mass <laughs> over uh, the quarantine. It's... It's been crazy, like, uh, when after the car accident, and I don't want to go into it too much detail because I've talked about this car accident way too much, but a few years ago I was in a car accident and I ended up, I didn't have much weight to lose to begin with. I was already like 70 something kg, like the low 70s, and then I went down to 66, which in American is 66 kg in American. <laughs> 145 pounds, which is pretty light for a fella who's 6'1", or in European. <laughs> 1.85 meter. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the accent. Or for my fellow Irish viewers, um, 1.85 potato plants. I never knew that potato plants could grow up to a meter. That's, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't realize the potatoes were called tubers. <laughs> and then you have the mother tuber, which is which is a big one. YouTuber is just another way of calling someone a potato. Huh, who would have guessed it? I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, my weight. <laughs> I was like, why am I talking about tubers? Anyway, I, I was down to 66 kg. We'll, we'll keep it in kg <laughs> just to keep things simple. And uh, now I'm up to 90. Uh, which is is over the space of a few years, but I've always struggled to gain weight. My, metab my metabolism is just insane. It always has been and uh, I've also struggled with with eating a lot in, in my life. I've... That's a whole other issue. Let's just not go into that right now. I've had to do exercise quite regularly anyway because of the, my accident just for physical rehabilitation and whatnot. Um, I used to do it like three times a week or something like that and I, I'd go to the gym and whatnot, but now I've been just trying to eat loads and just work out five times a week and I'm feeling fantastic physically probably the best I've ever felt in my life um, other than still a bit of pain in the old shoulderinos <laughs> but it's been um, it's been good it's been a really positive experience for me like that so that 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 has that, that has been a big change in my life that is for the better um, despite the whole negative stuff going around us you know the general the general disaster <laughs> that is 2020. God, and we thought 2016 was rough. This is something else. Even if we take a look at some of my content from way back when I first started the channel, like close to the accident, you can see like how thin I am. And even if we look at stuff as recent as the, as the start of the year, you can see how much I've changed. More focusing on content, which you're probably more interested in <laughs> rather than me talking about my body weight. <laughs> I always feel weird about talking about myself in videos because I am hyper aware of the fact that it is not very interesting. I I am not a very interesting person. But yeah, in regards to content, I'm pretty happy with what's been going on recently. I'm pretty happy with how my content's been. I go through waves. I think like most creators, I go through like, oh, this is going great. And then I go like, oh my God, my content is garbage. <laughs> it's like back up again and back down. And it's just like the cycle. It's just very strange being like a content creator, whatever you want to call me. I don't, I don't really care what label you put on it. 
um, but it's strange because you're you're constantly competing against yourself. <laughs> So now when I do a video that does really well, I'm hyped and I feel amazing over it. And if the feedback's great, I'm just so pumped that people are like uh, liking what I've made. But it's also, there's this hyper awareness of the fact that next week I'm not going to do a video as good. And I'm going to be annoyed because I'm not meeting that bar that I've said this week. It's so bizarre. But I've been pretty happy recently overall. I've been I've been pretty happy what's going on. And on top of doing the normal content, I, I also started streaming. You're probably aware of that. I mention it probably too often. I apologize. I'm just making people aware at the end of videos that I do in fact stream. But I, I, I've been streaming over on Twitch. I started doing five days a week. Now I moved it to four. I think it's it's just more suited to, to me and my schedule. But I've really enjoyed it. Um, I think just getting to chill out with people from the community and I, I think learn more about the community because I've got to know so many of you over on the Twitch channel and it's a more longer conversation <laughs> so I can actually get to know people and what my community is like um, because it's strange I didn't really know what this community was like and I didn't realize how kind and how nice so many people were in this community until I started streaming um, and it's really kind of opened my eyes to the, the, what kind of people are watching my videos and uh, you know what at the risk of sounding super cheesy, I could not be more proud. <laughs> and I don't know how everyone is so chilled and so nice when my content is me generally being kind of a dick. <laughs> but it's just been an immensely re rewarding experience, honestly. It's, it's one of those things that I feel like it's changed me like uh, as a person, and I think for the better. And I think that that goes for a lot of this whole lockdown business that we've been in. Like, Ireland's had a pretty strict lockdown compared to other countries um it's the 23rd right now of september i'm not sure when this will be going up i'll have to try and edit in between normal stuff but um it was only two days ago that like pubs opened and stuff like that's a big deal for ireland <laughs> and i think it's given me a lot of time to kind of think about who i am and what i want to be and what i want to do i've, I've learned to try and just chill out a bit as sometimes I think I've got something wrong with me because I can't just chill, I cannot relax, I don't watch like TV movies, I'll, I'll find myself getting super restless if I'm sitting still for like 10 minutes, I just, I really struggle to just chill and I've been trying to force myself to do that and it's been good, whether it's like go for a run, go for a walk, just relax, do something that that is not fully engaging my brain so I can actually think. <laughs> Because up to up till a few months back, it seemed like any time I had free time, I have to be doing something that's engaging my brain. I can't just shut down and just think for a while. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to be better. And hey, another little thing about me, I've been learning guitar. I, I have this lovely new guitar. I learned a few chords before, but I kind of gave up. But um, I've really, really been enjoying guitar. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Wow, you're talented. Would you like to sign uh, my record? No, label? no thanks. Sorry, I get a lot of this really often actually. Probably like a few times a day. And I'm just, I'm more interested in creating content on my channel. I'm dedicated to that. And I wouldn't sell out to any music label. Sorry, I didn't realize you had such integrity. Yeah, you don't let the, don't let the door hit you on the, on the way out. No, I, I lied. I can't play Wonderwall. It was all a clever ruse. You're too smart for me. I know you'll see right through it. But uh, I, I, I just can't help being honest, you know? As I said, I, I'm improving as a person and I cannot tell a lie. In reality, I've, I've learned like one song. <laughs> but look, it's been fun. It's been a good little hobby to have. And I, I usually have it right here. I think the trick to actually learning an instrument is having it like right on hand. So you don't need to be like... All right, I'll set aside time or whatever, and then I'll go find it and blah, blah, blah. I just have it right here. It's sitting next to me. I'm waiting for a video to render. I got 10 minutes. I'll just pick it up and I'll just start playing Wonderwall absolutely flawlessly. You see, I'm lying again and I don't know why. <laughs> and I hope that as I learn songs, I can like post a cover to, to YouTube. I know they may not be the best. I'm super bad at guitar. I've, I've already recorded one cover. I don't know if that's gone up or not in the in the time that I've recorded this and between posting it, but um, 
I know I'm very bad at guitar and a lot of the songs I'll be learning don't really suit my voice but it's kind of nice because it gives me something to work towards and it feels like I've accomplished something when I do the whole thing and I post it and whatnot so that's something I'm probably going to be doing but um, content in general I'd like to get two channels up I'm working on them at the moment I want to get two more channels I want to have one just for stream archive so if you're not interested in live streaming you can't make it or if you usually try and make them but you miss one there'll be a YouTube channel with all of the the streams up there uploaded in their entirety no edits whatsoever so it'll probably be boring but uh, then I'll do another channel I hope that will have stream highlights so it'll be keeping it away from you guys if you don't like them you know you want this high production quality video like like that please be something cool but if you for some reason want more of me please seek help no but if you for some reason want more of me there will be that other channel you can watch like the streams condensed just down to the best moments and uh, that's something i'm working towards hey kevin just in case just in case you're so productive that you get both those channels done we can include this clip and like just tell people that those channels are actually live now and the links are in the description if you want to check it out that the content over there is top notch it is amazing like you will be amazed by what you see over there but if you don't like them that's fine i i get it i get it you can only have so much called me kevin in your life and honestly one a day is probably pushing it. You don't want to overdose, do you? But, but honestly, if you watch my content at all at all, whether it's you watch every single video, whether you watch one a week, once a month, once a year, or just this one specifically, which I'm not gonna lie would be an odd one to just watch this video, but I appreciate it. <laughs> honestly, like, as I was saying, a lot of time to reflect in this um, whole situation we found ourselves in. And I just find myself just thinking how incredibly lucky and how I'm incredibly appreciative I am to have people actually watch my content and it, it blows my mind to this day that people actually watch it um, and I put a lot of my a lot of my time a lot of my a lot of my soul into the videos as weird as that sounds it's it's like my life so I, I just I'm just so lucky that people actually want to see and that I have the opportunity to to actually have this kind of creative outlet and It'd be such a rewarding one too, both um, just mentally and and the fact that I can have a comfortable life. Like uh, uh, once I had that car accident, <laughs> third time I'm bringing it up after I said I wouldn't. But uh, after that car accident, it really felt like I was going to have just a, a really tough few years of struggling to make ends meet. And to have that change and to actually have a very comfortable situation is just... <laughs> it just blows my mind so thank you so much for supporting what i do and of course with the whole lockdown i know that there's been a lot of downsides for everyone i don't mean to just uh, wash over all the problems that this whole situation has brought on i just hope that you're as good as you can be uh, i hope everything's going okay in your life and if something bad has happened i'm sure you'll get through it and i hope you're doing it as well as you can given your circumstances it's hard to talk to such a large amount of people <laughs> at once with this but um i just wanted to make that point clear that i i'm not minimizing the situation i only hope things go back to normal soon because i could really use some normal and <laughs> i'm sure we all could but in the meantime if you want more not normal i'll be posting a way to keep us all distracted <laughs> i'm just over here like oh look at the pretty video games <laughs> keeping everyone distracted <laughs> uh, i'm like a clown except with a worse stress sense but yeah i'll be posting as normal for the foreseeable future i love what i do as i said I'm super thankful to be able to do it and uh, i'm gonna keep doing it as long as i am able to <laughs> so i hope you'll stick around and um enjoy some of my content i hope you're enjoying if you have any feedback for me honestly i'm super active on twitch like engaging with the community and whatnot getting feedback there i've got a subreddit you can put feedback there my twitter even if you just got game suggestions and whatnot i hope this video wasn't boring even now i'm like is this gonna be a video because <laughs> it just feels like i rambled for like 20 minutes <laughs> and i'm just gonna cut this down and uh see if it makes sense it made sense to me but when i look back maybe it'll make no sense and maybe this will never see the light of day maybe i'll just be talking to myself but let me know if you did like it because 
I'm fine with keeping these things to myself. You know, bottling everything up is extremely healthy from what I've read online. Usually I do these kind of videos like once a year. I decided, you know what, with everything going on, I do two this year. <laughs> big, big steps, you know, that that is doubling the output of these sorts of videos. But yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to check in, you know. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Um, if you want to check out more of my stuff, I post every day. Usually, I don't ramble this much. It's usually not about me. It's about funny games. But yeah, anything to distract from me. Just, just focus on the screen. Look, look, funny character. Character creation. Funny. <laughs> I just hope this wasn't boring. Either way, uh, in fact, especially if it's boring, I appreciate you sitting through it. I, It means a lot to me. That, that you want to hear a bit about me and I just hope you'll keep on watching I I would super appreciate it as I said super thankful for all you guys have, have done for me but yeah that's about it hope you enjoyed and I do hope to see you next time bye for now Shout out to Patreons Isabel Rosenblum, Jamie Lynn Pones, Jamie Robin, Jenica Ackenbach, Jason Ellis, Jay Bills, Jeb CC, Jeffrey Knight, Jeff The Hef, Jenny Ambrose, Jenny Hayhays, Jeremy Calkins, Jessica Moody, Jez Gleason, JLW, Joelle Lavoy, John Bretts, Jonathan Langthorne, Joss, Joshy, Joshua Curley, Juminator, Karen McClinn, Katie Liam, Katie Monkey, Katie Barry, Kayla Giddens, Kayo Cat, Kevin Loves Soup, Kitty Hoover, Conifus, and Christian M.